everybody. Kind of unusual instrument here, I guess you could call this. Pretty daggum rare. This is an antique left-handed banjo. Uh, somebody said, I think Brooks Maston, I think it was, might have mentioned to me that he guessed it was a Bruno banjo, but that's just a guess. We don't know for sure. Some of the inlays do look aftermarket. Those are modern tuners on there. Looks like some vintage, like planetary tuners. Those look like, I don't know how old those might be, but maybe from the 70s or 80s. Nice, nice looking banjo. Um, I think these inlays are all original, except when you get to here. That looks like a hippie inlay to me. I like it, it's fine. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, the heel there. It's got a real nice setup in here. It is a, a lower grade banjo. It could very well be a Bruno. Note the slotted uh, domed, dome head slotted screws. That's typical of a cheaper banjo. This is a nice touch, this sort of, you know, uh, wood joinery there. That crack is just in the heel cap, doesn't go through the neck. The neck looks like mahogany. It's a good thick, it's thicker than most um, antique banjo necks, I'd say. The, the, the tone ring in there is, is just the same as, as what's up here. It's just the metal cladding uh, bent over the top, so that, that creates a bit of a tone ring in here. It's a very nice sounding banjo. Uh, white plastic head, typical no-knot tailpiece there. I can't play much on it because it's left-handed and I ain't.